Good day. I'm Dr. Michael Klumpus. I'm an infectious disease physician at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. And these are Mass General Brigham's answers to the most frequently asked questions about monkeypox. What is monkeypox? Monkeypox is a viral illness. It can cause an infection that typically is associated with fever, with feeling tired and weak, maybe muscle aches, and a very distinctive rash that can spread over different parts of the body will generally self-resolve over the course of a couple of weeks. How is monkeypox spread? Monkeypox is classically spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact between people. Typically, somebody who has the monkeypox rash will have a lot of virus on the skin in the points of the rash themselves. And that rash rubs up against another person, particularly if they have any kind of breaks in their skin or exposed mucous membranes that can pass the virus from one person to another and lead to the spread of the infection. It is possible in theory for monkeypox also spread through the air, but that turns out to be extremely unusual. What that means in practice is that there is very little chance of monkeypox spreading between people with casual encounters, such as being on a bus together, being in a grocery store, passing a person in the street, a casual handshake. These are very unlikely to lead to spread of monkeypox. It is really intense, sustained, and close skin-to-skin -skin contact, particularly rubbing, that leads to the spread of monkeypox. Is monkeypox a sexually transmitted infection? Monkeypox spreads most efficiently through close skin-to-skin -skin contact, particularly rubbing up against the monkeypox lesions. Now, because sex, of course, does involve very close contact with a lot of rubbing, a lot of intimacy, that is, does appear to be a very efficient way in which monkeypox can spread. What are the symptoms of monkeypox? Well, the most characteristic symptom of monkeypox is a rash. It's a very distinctive rash, typically constituted of small bubbles on the skin with a central indentation. Now, the rash goes over a course of evolution. It can begin with just small, flat red dots. Over a couple of days, that might evolve to become little bumps on the skin, little red bumps. Then it might evolve to become little fluid-filled blisters on the skin and then might turn into yellow blisters on the skin, which reflects the presence of pus inside of the, the blister. Often that has a central indentation that's very characteristic of monkeypox. After that, it turns into a scab and ultimately falls off and is accompanied by and is replaced by healthy skin. Now, it's possible for people also to have other symptoms such as fever, headache, tiredness, sore muscles. That can either begin before the onset of the rash or sometimes after the onset of the rash. It's important to note that typically there's a gap between when you're first exposed to monkeypox and when you first develop symptoms. That gap is typically on the order of about a week, although it can be slightly shorter or slightly longer. When should you get tested for monkeypox? Well, if you know that you are potentially exposed to somebody who has monkeypox, you should keep a close eye on yourself for the development of any kind of symptoms, such as fever, headache, weakness, tiredness, and in particular, the development of the characteristic monkeypox rash. Is there a treatment for monkeypox? Well, the good news is that in most cases, monkeypox will get better on its own. For most people, it is a mild illness. However, if one does develop a bad case of monkeypox that's associated with a lot of pain or bad bacterial superinfection, or one has a weak immune system, there is a very good treatment that is available. It's called T-pox. And if you think you might need it, you should speak with your doctor. Is there a vaccine against monkeypox? Yes, there is a vaccine. It's a vaccine called Gineos, and appears to be very effective in preventing monkeypox, about 85%. The vaccine is ideally taken before one has exposure, so people who are at high risk because they're circulating communities where they will be in contact with monkeypox, it's strongly advised to get it now. The vaccine comes as a two-dose series. One gets the initial dose, and then a second dose that's followed up about four weeks later. Uh, one can also use the monkeypox after known exposure. Ideally, it's taken within four days of exposure, and if you're able to do that, it can prevent the development of monkeypox itself. However, even if you can get the monkeypox vaccine up to two weeks following a known exposure, it is, while it might not prevent the infection, it will make the infection milder. Is monkeypox a deadly illness? No. It's actually very unusual for people to die from monkeypox. There have been very, very few deaths reported thus far, despite more than 30,000 people being infected worldwide. What should you do if you think you might have monkeypox? Well, I think the most important thing is to go and get yourself tested. So if you want to be in contact with your doctor or a sexual health clinic, 
in order to arrange for testing and then to make a shared decision as to whether treatment is appropriate for you or not. The next thing you want to do is, if possible, notify anybody whom you might have exposed to monkeypox so that they too can get themselves tested and take appropriate precautions. The third thing you want to do is to isolate yourself in order to prevent further spread of monkeypox. And now if you're in a shared living situation, the recommendation from CDC is that you try to stay within your own room. If you are going to be in a shared common space to wear masks and to minimize as much as possible the sharing of food, utensils, towels, linen, and clothing in order to prevent the spread of monkeypox from one person to another.